Our next speaker is Shannon Brown. She's from Gastrointestinal Sciences. Her supervisor is Dr. Christopher Waterhouse. Shannon's 3MT talk title is Seeing With Your Gut. Every time you poop, you flush more bacteria down the toilet than there are people in the world. And this is actually because 80% of that poop is composed of the bacteria that normally inhabit your intestines. And these bacteria, they're good for you. They promote health. But they do pose a little bit of a challenge for your immune system because your immune system now has to figure out who are the good guys who are supposed to be there and who are the bad guys who might cause disease. Now, when your immune system gets confused and starts attacking the good microbes instead of the bad ones, you get a disease known as inflammatory bowel disease, or IBD. And IBD affects about one in every 180 Canadians, causing severe pain, chronic diarrhea, frequent hospitalizations, and often surgery. But despite this, we don't have a cure. And part of the reason why we don't have a cure is that we don't really understand why the immune system starts attacking these microbes in the first place. One candidate of proteins is a family of proteins called the toll-like receptors. And toll-like receptors act as eyes for the immune system. They see broad classes of bacteria, both good and bad, and generate responses to them. And it's these responses that make a person feel sick. So for a healthy person, these responses only occur when there's an infection. But for a person with IBD, they're occurring all the time. Now, if toll-like receptors are the eyes in this case, then tollup is a protein that acts like a blindfold and prevents those toll-like receptors from seeing and responding to bacteria. And we think that this could be of extreme importance in the intestine in preventing the immune system from seeing those good microbes. So that makes me ask the question with my research, what happens to tollup during IBD? And does this have an effect on patient outcomes? And so what we've seen so far is that in patients with IBD, they have lower levels of tollup in their intestine, especially in areas of active disease. And we know that this is bad for the patient outcome because if we take a mouse that doesn't have tollup and we give it IBD, it gets sicker and more severe disease than a mouse that does have tollup. So this paints a picture for us where during IBD, you get the withdrawal of that tollup blindfold, allowing the immune system to see all those good microbes. And we think that by further studying how tollup is involved and how it gets decreased in the first place, we'll be able to develop drugs that can bring that level of tollup back up, reapply that blindfold, and really target IBD, IBD right at the beginning stages by preventing the immune system from seeing those microbes in the first place. Thank you.